Hello, I'm Bobby Gendron, founder and owner of Butterfly Encounters. We've put together these video tutorials for you to demonstrate how to grow your milkweed seeds. These are the seed packets that you just received in your order. When you look at the front of the seed packet, it will specify whether the seeds need any special treatment. Some varieties of milkweed require cold, moist stratification before you can grow them, and we will cover that in detail in another video tutorial. So if the seeds do not require any special treatment, you can go ahead and plant them now. And we actually encourage you to plant them in the early, in the early spring so you can get a head start on the season. So what I've done is I've gone to my local nursery and I've purchased a few things. I've purchased a seed starter kit, which contains a tray to hold any excess water, another tray to place your soil in, a plastic dome, this helps to keep the humidity in, as well as a heat mat. Now the heat mat is not required, however I do strongly recommend it because this brings the soil to a temperature of about 75 degrees and encourages your seeds to germinate faster. What you'll also want to do to encourage germination is make sure that you pick a very well lit room to do this in. Uh, next to a window would be nice, however you just want to make sure that it's not in the direct sun because that direct sun through the glass could harm your seedlings. A couple other items I have here is some seed starter mix. A seed starter soil typically contains perlite, vermiculite, and peat moss, as well as a bucket and a pitcher of hot water so we can get the soil to the right consistency. So the first step is to moisten the soil. And this is actually the most important step. So go ahead and take your bucket and fill it up with the seed starter mix. Then take your hot water and just add a little bit at a time. Once you have a little bit in here, mix it up. So if you pull the soil up and it just falls apart and breaks apart, it's probably too dry. So you can add a little bit more water. Again, just a little bit at a time. Alright, now we have a good consistency of soil and water. So when you pull your soil up like this, you can form a ball and the soil holds. But as soon as you press down on it, it breaks apart very easily. That's a good consistency. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to fill six plugs in this seed tray with soil. Leave about a quarter inch from the surface so there's enough room to place your seeds and then a little bit of soil on top. And just gently pat the soil down. You want the soil to be well aerated to encourage germination. Take your seed packet and open it up. I like to place the seeds in the palm of my hands. Then I take two seeds and place them in each of the little cells. This will encourage, uh, you know, at least one plant per cell, just in case a few of the seeds don't germinate. Now that your seeds are down here, grab a little bit more soil and just barely cover the seeds with about an eight inch of soil and gently pack them down. And you basically apply the same method to the whole tray. Then take your plastic dome, place it over the seed tray. Then take your seed tray, place it on the heat mat, and don't forget to plug your heat mat in. This will again bring the soil temperature to about 75 degrees. So just check your seeds about every one to two days and ensure that the soil is still moist. If it's too dry, you can use a spray bottle to put just a little bit more moisture down. And your seeds will germinate in about seven to 15 days. We're gonna have a follow-on tutorial once these seeds have germinated to show you the next steps. Thank you.